Hello from Spur IT and welcome to the Bulk Discount Manager app tutorial video. I will show you how to create and manage your discounts easily. I have the app already installed on my web store, here it is. This app allows you to create store-wide discounts and discounts for particular products and collections, schedule them and adjust sale icons to your product images. This is the app's dashboard. I don't have any discounts yet, so let's create one. I'll name this discount 30% off. This internal name won't be shown on the storefront. In the next field we should set the discount as a fixed amount or as a percentage. In this section we should select products or collections the discount rule will be applied to. You can select the whole store option to create a store-wide discount. Let's select the boots and shoes collection for this discount rule. The first section of the rules optional settings allows you to schedule your discount. Using the first option, you will create a discount that will start right away after enabling and work regardless of the date. Using the second option, we can create discounts for upcoming sales beforehand. Here we should set the start date and time. Using this checkbox, we can add a date when the discount should stop. The next two options allow you to repeat the discount weekly or monthly. And this is an exclusive feature and none of other apps provide a possibility to schedule and repeat sales monthly or weekly automatically. In this section we can set the price rounding. Rounding makes prices much more tempting and attractive. If you set it at 0.99, then all discounted prices will end with 99 cents. You can check the round to nearest value checkbox to make the app define the nearest values and round prices according to these values. For example, 15.20 will be rounded to 14.99. The last field of the rules settings allows you to apply a certain tag to orders with discounted products. It allows you to manage these orders in the store admin panel easily. Ok, now let's save our first discount rule. Here you'll see the list of your current discounts. You can find all the archived ones in this tab. In this panel we can change the priority levels, which I will tell you about a bit later. See the products or collections they are applied to, duplicate them or move them to the archive. All newly created rules are enabled by default. We can also enable, disable, schedule, duplicate and archive our discounts in bulk using these checkboxes. As you can see, the rule status changes dynamically. The rule pending can take a minute and the discount activation speed is approximately one product per second. Ok, now the rule is activated, let's take a look at the storefront. Yeah, great, the discount has been applied. Now I'm gonna show you how the priority works. Let's duplicate our discount and configure the rules to have a 20% store-wide discount and a 10% discount for particular products. Now we have two different discount rules with the same product selected. Which one will be applied then? Here comes the priority level. The one priority is the highest level. At the moment the 20% store-wide discount rule has priority level 1 and the 10% discount is not applied to this particular product. So let's change this new rule's priority to 1 and see what will happen. As you can see the other priority levels change automatically to save the order. Let's check the storefront. As you can see, the discount with the higher priority level has replaced the discount with the lower priority. So, if you have different discounts on the same products working at the same time, then the discount with the higher priority will be applied. Ok, let's move on and consider other apps working principles. If you add or remove a product from a collection to which a discount rule has been applied, the app automatically changes the product price and compare red price. But please note that the app needs up to 12 hours to apply the changes, depending on the server's load. Now let's take a look at the sale batch section of the app. 
Sell badges catch customers' attention and make them head to the discounted products, so they are an incredibly useful tool. The sell badge is not currently being displayed at the moment, so let's enable it. In this section, we should select product images on the product pages and collection pages. Let's select an image on a product page first. After clicking the select button, which will redirect me to a random product page of my store, I need to press the shift button and select the product image. Please note that you must select the image exactly. Don't forget to click save after the selection. The same adjustment can be done for the collection pages. You just need to select all the product images there. This is not required, so you can leave this section unset if you don't need the badges on collection pages. Ok, let's move on. After the images are selected, we should set up the badge itself by clicking this button, which will open a random product page with badge design settings. Here I can browse images or upload my own. Let's select an image and change how it looks. Done, let's check the storefront. Yeah, works well and looks great. And that's all. If you face any difficulties or need personal design adjustments, please don't hesitate to contact us by using the built-in chat inside of the app or email our support team at the email address you see on the screen. Our fast and friendly support team is available 24-7 and we are always glad to help you. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please click like, subscribe to our channel and leave 5 star reviews in the Shopify app store. Good luck to your business, sell more and stay awesome.